early in the campaign, it really didn't feel like First Nations issues were being talked about uh, at all. And yet I think it really is one of the major, if not the top, social and economic justice issue in this country. I have had discussions with, with all parties around ma uh, many of these issues, but certainly it would have been uh, helpful to have uh, you know, the Conservative voice at it so that we can hear not only what uh, they suggest that they've been doing up until now, but what uh, they, they would be planning on doing in the future. The fact is that we have 40 communities that have no schools right now across this country. I've been to villages in northern Manitoba where the kids have not gone to school for two years. They don't have clean, uh, not only do they not have clean water, they don't have indoor plumbing. Uh, they have slop pails. And this is, in Canada, this is in Canada in 2011, when Canada consistently ranks in the top 10 of the UN Human Development Index. Let's give the kids a chance. Let's make sure they have an equitable uh, opportunity in life and support them in the area of education at all levels. Support children. Right now we got a 49% graduation rate at the K-12 level. Our kids are more apt to end up in jail than they are to graduate from high school right now. And that's something that I think no Canadian can stand up and, and be proud of. First Nations every day are some of the most vulnerable in this country. As I said earlier, uh, over 500 murdered and missing Aboriginal women and girls. We have exposure to flood, uh, flood threats on an annual basis. We have 114 communities with boil water advisories impacting 75,000 people. We in fact right now need 85,000 housing units. Um, we have 21 people in two bedroom homes that uh, this is just completely unacceptable. We need to move beyond the blame, we need to move beyond the finger pointing and we need to move beyond the sense of guilt. None of us in this generation created these conditions. We've all collectively as First Nations and Canadians inherited them. But it, it, it also tells me that we can all accept responsibility to say this is the generation that dealt once and for all with the need to uh, return our relationship with First Nations to the original vision that was expressed in the treaties of living together in harmony, mutual respect, mutual recognition and kindness.